Alright, so before we start this video, we have a little bit of breaking, leaked news happening right now. Obviously, I'm not home. I am out for the day. But, we have some Eagles breaking news. And the news is this. The Eagles uniforms look like they were leaked on Facebook. It looks like we can now see what it looks like with the jersey, the helmet. And I suggest, if you don't want to see it until Monday's reveal, you might want to skip through this part. But... The Eagles leaked the jerseys, and this is what it looks like. Absolutely looks gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. Cannot wait to spend all my money on jerseys and go broke. Uh, these leaked jerseys, these leaked uniforms look great. They're everything I was hoping that they would be in an alternate uh, jersey. And uh, I can't wait to see them wear it. Can't wait for it to go on sale. Can't wait to watch the reveal. Now, let's start this video. So far at camp, we've learned one thing about the Philadelphia Eagles for sure. They're way more talented than they were a year ago. King Ding back here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. What a few days of camp it has been. Absolutely got to say, this camp has started just about as good as you could ever, ever hope for. And we're just getting started. This thing is going to be awesome. This is going to be a special year, an awesome year. And we're going to talk all about it because I think there's a lot that we should be excited about as Eagle fans. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled, pause, Eagles content creator and all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you so much for the support you give to me. It truly means a lot. Now, we are sitting here this weekend and the Eagles have their first day off. That's right, the Eagles are off today. They are not going to be practicing, and uh, I think it's well-deserved. You know, I have really started to embrace so far uh, this year, um, really have embraced for the first time uh, their schedule and how they kind of do their training camp. I have been a big uh, proponent of Two a days, you got to hit more, you got to do all those things. Then you see guys like Jalen Ramsey go down. You see guys like Joe Burrow go down. And you think to yourself, man, you know what? Maybe the Eagles, just maybe the Eagles have something, something right here. Maybe they're doing something right here and we're okay. Because you think about it, we didn't play, two years ago, we hardly played at all our starters. We, you know, they worked out at training camp, not the longest uh, practices, maybe an hour. Uh, yet they come out against Atlanta. They kill it. Then, last year, they didn't have much of training camp at all uh, in terms of preseason and things like that. They come out versus Detroit, they kill it. And uh, maybe, that's the right, maybe that's the right approach. I don't know. But what I do know is this. What I have seen from the Philadelphia Eagles this far in camp uh, tells me that this team is not just built. It's not just built for next for this year it's built for years to come this team okay this team and i gotta i gotta hold on i gotta change this thing but this team is more talented overall than they were a year ago uh, i truly believe that uh because when you look at it this team is they've got they got tons of tons of talent all over the place. And when I say more talented than a year ago, I'm not talking just in terms of one year. I'm talking about looking at the future of this team, looking at the players that they have, the young guys that they have, and the young pieces. And you know, this team is going to be good for years and years to come. That is just the absolute truth. And I think we've improved in so many different ways. First off, you've now got You've now got a better defensive coordinator than you had a year a year ago. Jonathan Gannon stunk. He stunk. He was horrible. Okay, let's just face it. Let's just be honest. I I, I just oh man. There's a guy that I want to just oh that guy drives me nuts. Uh, everything that ha ha happened at the Super Bowl, it just pisses me off every time I think about it. 
it pisses me off. But Jonathan Gannon, he, he killed us, man. He, he, he absolutely killed us. And I think Sean Desai is going to be an upgrade over him. Now, you know, I was on Dan Silio's show, and, and he was talking... Uh, he, he was talking to me. He asked me a question I haven't thought about. I really didn't think about it a lot. But but now I'm starting to think about it. And I'm, and I'm wondering. Um, I think the Eagles like Sean Desai a lot. I think they're very high on him. Um, they think, they could possibly think, well, listen, we don't know if he's going to work out. And two, if he works out, he's going to wind up being a head coach very, very quick in this league. Could the reason the Philadelphia Eagles... Uh, brought in Matt Patricia was to have a defensive coordinator in place in case the shot decide doesn't work out or in case Desai goes and gets a head coaching job like Jonathan Gannon or something like that. I think the Eagles were really, really, really pissed uh, when they lost out on Vic Fangio because that was what they were going to do. Then Jonathan Gannon told them, oh, no, 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 I'm staying. I ain't going nowhere. And he was lying the whole time. So I, 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 he, he instantly asked me that question, and I, I've been thinking about it. I think, I think there may be something to it. And uh, I think it, it's not that the Eagles want him to look over Sean Desai's uh, shoulder, but the fact of the matter is if Sean Desai does a great job, he's going to get a head coaching job somewhere quickly. And if he doesn't, you're going to need somebody that can go in quickly. Um, Patricia has has experience as a defensive coordinator. So it would make some sense and, and I guess I could see it. But overall, as we stand or as we sit here right now talking this video, I'm very pleased with what I've heard from Sean Desai, what I've seen. I'm very happy the same thing with Brian Johnson. So I look at these these coaches and I think, yeah, that's an upgrade. The Eagles actually have an upgrade. Uh then I look at, at the players uh, that we've drafted. Uh, Nolan Smith, Jalen Carter. I mean, these guys are the talk of the NFL. They are the talk of the NFL. Everybody is going, man, I wish we could have that. I wish we could have that. The Cowboy fans are faking it, going, oh, we don't want that. No, no, we wouldn't want that. But really, the truth of the matter is they're going, oh, my gosh, please, please let us have him. Uh, but you can't. He's ours. And... Uh, you know, the Eagles three, four, five, six steps ahead of the Cowboys and the rest of the NFC East. So you look at this year compared to like last year. I think you've upgraded your coaching staff, especially in the defensive coordinator position, okay? I, f I feel like at least at this point, uh, we're not that far offensively. I do like Steichen, and Brian Johnson's going to have to show us things, but I think he's going to, I think he's going to be fine. I have a lot of confidence in him. So I feel like we've upgraded our our uh, coaching staff. Then I feel like we've added young talent. I feel like we've increased our young talent pool tenfold. We literally have at least, at least three guys that could potentially, that have a really good chance to start for the Eagles that are rookies. Jalen Carter's going to start. Uh, Tyler Steen is going to have a chance to start. He's fighting for a job with Cam Jurgens. And then you have Sidney Brown, who I think is going to end up winning a starting safety job himself. So you have an influx in talent. This team has a lot of guys like Bradbury and Slay. They may be a little older, but they're not here for just one more year now. Now they're here for multiple years. And then when you look at the offensive side of the ball, uh, besides the fact that you're playing uh, guys in the same offense another year and together another year, uh, I think the added addition to DeAndre Swift in the backfield is going to create a element that you did not have in your offense. Teams are going to sit there and they're going to try to come and, ca and, and concentrate more on Hurts running. And if they're going to worry about that more or try to put him in a position to beat them with his arm, uh, it's going to be even harder when he can dump it off to DeAndre Swift, when he can throw it to the running back. You use the running back out of the backfield. There ca there's countless amount of times that we watched the Eagles last year. And, and during the streams, we were saying... If they just ran a, a running back screen, there's 30 yards of nothing because these teams aren't even worried about it. And if you could add that element, how are defenses going to deal with DeAndre Swift out of the backfield as a receiver? Jalen Hurts can run if he needs to or throw. Then you have A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard. Somebody's always going to be open. This offense, and, and see, this is, this is the point that I was trying to explain 
in, in the last video I did. This is what the point is and why the Cowboy fans, they don't understand. They're missing the point. And the point is this. The Eagles are built to win because of their offense. Okay, I'm a firm believer in this today's NFL that it isn't defenses that win championships. It's offenses that win championships. I believe in today's NFL, you have to have a good offense, a great offense, and you have to have an opportunistic defense. And what I mean by opportunistic is you're going to give up yards. They're going to give up points. They're not going to be like the 91 Eagles shutting you down in every category. That's very hard to come by in today's football, especially with the way the rules are made in the NFL to basically favor the offense. But a defense that gets the turnover at the right time in the game, that gets the sack, that makes the stop, that takes advantage of a, of a penalty. Those opportunistic defenses to go along with a good offense is what wins in today's NFL. Just think back to the 2017 Eagles. The Eagles allowed over 500 yards passing versus the Brady and the, and the Patriots. However, it was the opportunity of the Eagles and Brandon Graham forcing a fumble, which Derek Barnett, his career highlight of recovering that fumble, was, was what I'm talking about. They took advantage of a turnover. It was an opportunistic defense, okay? And that's what wins... In today's NFL so what the Cowboy fans are missing and what they all are not understanding is it's not the Eagles defense that is going to win championships or even carry them this season it's the offense and the offense for the most part is coming back this year so they're not going to miss a beat if anything they're going to be even better than they were a year ago this is why the Eagles are going to be that tough. Now, the defense may take a while to get its chemistry, get its footing. I think that's a very real possibility. But while that is happening, you're going to see an offense carry, carry the defense. And I think late in the season, as the weather gets cold and we get into December football, I think you'll see the defense start to play better, start to dominate. And then they're going to be a real scary team when it comes to... Uh, going into the playoffs and and the other thing and the other reason why the Eagles are better off than a year ago is because the Eagles are sitting there and they're in an NFC that isn't as good as it was a year ago you have no Brady you have no Rodgers they're gone who's the best quarterback in the conference it's Jalen Hurts so the Eagles are far and above the best team in the conference and I think with all these things going on as we enter camp, I think this is just about the greatest start that we could possibly ask for uh, during camp. And I'm very happy. I'm very excited. And I think that even though people want to talk about, you don't have C.J. Gardner-Johnson, you don't have this, you don't have that. Every team has a need. Every team always has something that they can improve on. But overall, Howie Roseman did an um, um, remarkable, uh, unprecedented job at replacing what they lost with much more young talent. And that's the truth about the Eagles. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's Howie Vision. We're all just living in it. Kelly Green is two days away, baby. Two days away. And I'm like, Nolan Smith, Devontae Smith, Hassan Reddick, Jalen Hurts. What am I going to do? I don't know. But I snuck in my wife's purse and I took out the credit card. And I got it. And she's looking around for it right now. Where is it? Where is it? I'm hiding it. I don't want her to find it because I need plenty of room on that thing because I'm about to go bankrupt buying all the Eagles Kelly Green I could get. Denzel Washington out.